Okay, it's time for a quick Mark Reviews how-to. This is how to check your tire's pressure and then uh, add some air to your tires if you need to. So, main thing you'll need here is a tire pressure gauge. This is about the cheapest version possible. They have digital ones and everything, but for about two bucks you can get this at a gas station and it does the trick. Um, take the cap off your stem here, and then it's easiest if you hold it lower here. Okay, you wanna make sure you get a tight seal so you don't hear air hissing out. And then you look at your reading. I don't know why it's so hard to see that on camera. There we go. So I'm just over 20 PSI, and this car needs more like 35, so I'm well below where it should be. You also wanna be sure that you're not overinflating your tires. So this tire here says somewhere along here uh, that 40 PSI is the max, and beyond that it may explode. Explosions are not good. So then you want to find yourself a gas station like this one. This is ours in Seattle. It has a free air compressor machine here. Okay. You turn it on, grab the end of the hose, put that down. And same thing, you want a nice tight seal here. Okay. And then it's just trial and error. So, you know, I'm waiting a long time because I figure it probably needs a lot. You don't want to overinflate it because you could explode the tire in your face and that's not good. So, that added about 7 PSI, which is pretty good. I need more. Yeah, it's just not keeping a very tight seal. Here we go. Let's try again. So push this thing back in, right, to get his fresh reading every time. There we go, still just about 32. Now I'm going for about 35 PSI, 36 is okay, because uh, that is what this particular tire and this particular car has recommended. So you want to check your owner's manual or the area inside the door jam on your driver's side door is where it should be. My car doesn't have that, but all newer cars pretty much do. Dude, that is way higher than it should be. I don't know what that was. There we go. Okay, so I'm calling that good. If you ever add too much air to it, you just use the other side of this thing and push on the stem to let the air out. Now you want to put your cap back on. And the only other thing to do is repeat that process three more times for the rest of the car. Okay, that'll do it. Subscribe to this channel and uh, check out some of the other how-to videos that we have on here. Let me know in the comments below what other videos you'd like to see me do. I'll try to film them, thanks.